Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Animal Reactions Funny Animals. So today we're going to do funny animal stories and let's get into those. Don't forget to go check out the Patreon full of these stories plus travel stories. And then the Spotify channel has full travel stories and then my other channel, Fun Facts channel of all different sorts of movies. So let's get right into it. Okay, here's number one. This is by Dancy and Danny. Um, eight years ago, once I read that you can judge how smart dogs are by putting a piece of cloth over their head and seeing how long it takes them to remove the, the cloth. So I put a cloth on my dog's head, husky slash lab, and he just stood there for about 10 seconds and then laughed down the, uh, and then, sorry, then laid down with the cloth still on his head I thought I would die laughing. Oh my god. Um, a response from Ellie M. Frost. I'd lo- I did that to my golden, and she just sat there like, if this was what you want on my head, then this is what shall be on my head. I lifted it for a second to see her expression, and she just looked like she was okay with it. It was hilarious. And then OP, uh, oh, not OP, sorry, derp, derp of the, derp of the Irish. One of my favorite things about dogs, most seem to have the ultimate go with the flow attitude. Was thinking about this yesterday when I saw a guy walking his dog with the leash wrapped under one of his front legs. I got upset if one shoe is tied is tied tighter than the other, but this dog trotted along, or right along with the hitch on his step, looking. Like he was having the time of his life. I've never seen a three-legged dog look like it was depressed missing a leg. What do you mean? It wasn't like life always like this. Oh, well, no big deal. I'm going to run and I'm going to go run around like this and never even happen because everything is awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I used my, I used to have a co- quack, quacker parrot. That would unhook earrings and necklaces and fly away with them while doing his evil laugh. He would fly into tortilla bag chips and try to eat his way out. He had to be supervised at all times. That's pretty funny, actually. Not gonna lie. Oh my god. Some some of these uh, animals are truly hilarious. Um... They just have their own personalities, and then they get, and then you get to a, they get to a point where they're like, "Mom, I made a mistake. Mom, I made a mistake." <laughs> I'm just right, just to give them credit. There we go. Okay. Like serious, it's it's really funny watching, uh, hearing about these animal stories. If you have a funny animal story, please share below. I'd love to read it out loud for you on here. Um, Honestly, I don't know if you guys uh, listen to uh, Reddit all the time or not. Or like you read Reddit a lot. But I would love for you guys to even email me your um, favorite animal story. And yeah. Okay, next one is my miniature pincher was bitten by a gopher one day. We had to take her to the vet because he was limping and whimpering. It was a pretty nasty bite between her leg and belly. That that little webbing area, I don't know how she got bit there. What I do know is that as soon as she had healed, she started pooping directly into the gopher holes in the backyard. We've moved up a few times now. But she sticks to her vendetta. (laughs) Anytime she sees a gopher hole now, she's determined to squeeze a little poop into their home. That is some payback for sure, especially from a dog. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, let me know how your dog, if your dogs are petty or not. And that seems to be like the theme of animals, like the smaller animals anyways. Okay, next one. I bought a big catnip plant and put it in a pretty pot on the front step. My big Manx Sebastian came to the door immediately to check it out. He immediately bear hugged the rim of the pot 
with his front legs, buried his face in the foliage, and froze. I laughed a little, let him hang out for a few minutes before grabbing him to bring him inside. The big guy hung out, uh, hung on tight, and uh, growled softly, so I let him stay while I went about my business for the rest of this afternoon and kind of forgot about him. Hours later, he was still in the same pot. Uh, pot. I put his food out, which on, the, uh, on any other day would have brought him running inside. Today, he stayed put. I called for him at nighttime. On another day, he would have hopped into the bed with me to cuddle. Today, he stayed out. The following morning, it rained. The mailman came. A man with a leaf blower walked past on the sidewalk. Sebastian stayed put blew to the spot. Finally, I removed the plant from the stoop. He acted depressed for the rest of the day. Drugs, man. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, because he was high? Is that why? Is that what that is? That kind of pot? Oh my god. It's exactly what I think you're talking about, right? Oh, some... My dogs are going crazy too now. Oh my, what's going on up there? All of a sudden, they're whining. Okay, next, my puppy got outside, tracked my scent to my tree, stand in the woods, didn't think to look up, got confused and spun around in the several circles. After turning around in circles, she thought she caught my scent and started tracking me down again. But she was tracking the same trail that she followed to my stand just in reverse. A little later, she ended up back at my standard, or back at my stand. Several minutes later, our older dog showed up to the stand, looked up at me, walked over to the puppy, and brought her back to the house. Well, I'm glad your dog knows better compared to your puppy. Because, you know, sometimes having that dog around, who's a little more wise now, definitely helps. Um, for sure. I would love to hear your guys' opinion. Which one's your favorite so far? Uh, comment below. I would love to hear it. And that, yeah. So let's move on. We got time for a few more stories here. Every dog has a way they communicate that they need to go outside. For my previous dog, a toy, a, a, a toy poodle, it was walking up to you and barking once. Well, one day we were all watching a movie when she walks in the room and barks. I get up to let her outside, but she jumps up and lays on my chair. She made me get up so she could steal my seat. That is my dog. My dog will communicate with her paw, and then she'll like kind of nudge at you, like, move, please, so I could lay there. It's kind of, it's so funny when you see that, but when you said outside, I was thinking, uh-oh, a poop, poop story is going to happen here. Oh, God. But thank God it wasn't that. Okay. Uh, next one. Not me, but my mom. She talked to their German shepherd so much, she started thinking it was people. Like, if you don't offer her social graces that you give to another human, she gets offended and starts acting like a passive aggressive teenager oh my god some dogs act like passive aggressive teenagers or just teenagers in general why is that they're moody they're sassy their attitude is all you know and then they're the sweetest dog you've ever met on another day too you're like what happened to my dog what, what what's going on here okay i have a cat or a dog and a cat both of them are friends this is by cheech is feist both of them are friends, but they don't want us to think that they are friends. Whenever the cat is sleeping, the dog will walk past it, giving him a walk by licking absolute slobbering the cat, so the cat will wake up with his wet hair sticking straight up, and the dog will be nowhere in sight. The cat will even have a look on his face when he wakes up like, what the fuck? When, next one. When my, I wish I could have a cat. I would love a cat right now over a dog just because they're a little bit more independent than than dogs however we also have three dogs upstairs that sit in their kennels when i'm working and everyone else is working just because one's still a puppy so we can't totally trust him yet um which kind of sucks for the other two because they're three years old and they are totally trustworthy um out and about on their own in the house when my cat thinks i'm not paying attention to her like i'm in another room taking a shower eating on the phone Eating on the phone, she'll grab a toy in her mouth and walk around crying with it until I or another lesser human substitute acknowledges her efforts. She'll leave them outside of the shower on my pillow at the front door. The behavior has always been really cute 
and sweet, but last month she brought me an actual mouse in the middle of the night. Oh, gross. Um, my boyfriend's cat does stuff like that, but they let him wander in the backyard, which that's, that's fine. That's their choice. But, uh, but they have been given, they, he has given them like, oh, look where I hunted. Like such a proud cat moment too. Um, but still, it's just, ugh. Okay. And last one. Last yeah, my cat, uh, sorry, last, I have two cats, litter mates named Odin and Zeus. I had adopted them when they were about a year old. One day, maybe a week after I got them, I was sitting around and watching them when something spooked Odin and he didn't, he did that stiff leap into the air. He landed half on Zeus, who was in turn spooked, who was in turn spooked by sudden contact. Zeus did his spook leap and tossed Odin in the air. They both take off in opposite direction. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So that was by Always on That Okie Dokie. Always on That Okie Dokie. And this was posted eight years ago. So all of these are older stories, but they're really fun to listen to. You can never go wrong with a good animal story. Let me know in the comments below if you have any animal stories yourself. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. We'll chat soon. Bye now.